government maintains 6% GDP growth target for 2019, said Domingues. Manila, Philippines Pazudar Administration is maintaining its fighting target for gross domestic product growth of 6% for a busted year to keep on track the president's goals of lowering poverty incidence to 14% by 2022 and creating more economic opportunities for Filipinos. Suspect Finance Secretary Carlos Dominguez III, who added that the swift congressional approval of the remaining passages of the Comprehensive Tax Reform Program and other economic reform bills would be crucial for achieving high and inclusive growth. On keeping the full-year economic expansion target, Dominguez set a cash-up spending plan practice for this year and the timely passage of the 2020 national budget would help the government achieve this. As he expressed optimism that there wouldn't be a repeat of the delay in the approval of the budget, given improved working relations between the executive and legislative branches of government. Economic growth settled at only 5.5% in the first half of 2019, which Dominguez said was not surprising, given the five-month delay in the enactment of the 2019 national budget. To avoid a repeat of last year's delay, Dominguez said the leaders of both the Senate and the House of Representatives have been meeting every month to monitor the progress on the budget and the 25 priority bills enumerated by President Rodrigo Duterte in his fourth State of the Nation address, which includes the four remaining tax reform packages. The passage of the remaining tax reform packages and other economic reforms will help us secure the A-minus credit rating within the next two years and achieve our 14% poverty target by 2022, Dominguez said during this meeting with congressional leaders, former finance officials and economists at the Department of Finance office in Manila last Friday. There is reason to believe that the winds are in our favor and the stars all align, or as the naval crows goes, here we have fair winds and following seas, he added. Present at the meeting were former Prime Minister Cesar Dorada, Senator Pio K. Edino, the chair of the Senate Ways and Means Committee, and Bay Rep. Joey Salcida, the chair of the House Ways and Means Committee, former Senator Alberto Ramulo, who also served as Finance Secretary, former Finance Secretary Margarito Tevi, and former Finance Secretary Roberto De Campo. Also present were former Finance Secretary Jose Isidro Camacho, former National and Economic Development Authority, NEDA, Director General Julio Javido, former NEDA Director General Arsenio Balasatin, and former Finance Undersecretary Romeo Bernardo. Slash ATM. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.